DesignWorks Unlimited is the ultimate package for reverse engineering directly inside your CAD package. Here we show live scanning and exhaust header directly inside of SolidWorks. This works exactly the same way in Inventor. And here we're going to show you a few of the awesome features we have. First one is a clip plane, clean up the mesh really fast. And we also have containment sketches. Just make a sketch in SolidWorks and boom, click on it to set it as your containment for your scanning. We also have live adjustable triangle size where we can adjust the triangle size of the mesh on the fly. So from here we're going to go from a 30 thousandths to a 15 thousandths mesh and it updates extremely quick. It's all live and you can see the triangle size double on the right side of the screen there and look at this amazing detail. Let's take it down a step further all the way down to 10 thousandths so you can see how high quality the mesh is in DesignWorks. Makes the mesh live while scanning and then you have all this adjustability to use to get your perfect mesh before you start modeling. Here we're going to show you how to use our automatic merge. Um, so we're just going to select the second side of this scan here, open it up, and we're going to go into a separate window here and show you how we use our automatic merge. We have both sides of this gas tank. We're going to hit the A key and it is going to simply put them together for us. As long as you have about 50% overlap, this tool works absolutely incredibly. All right, let's see the updated and final version of this mesh. It's going to take it a second to update all the scan data and put all of it together for us. We can use all the same tools we used before, the containment and the mesh adjustment. Next we're going to show you how to use all the tools that DesignWorks Unlimited comes with. Comes with our probing tools, comes with our scanning tools, comes with our mesh tools and our inspection tools so you get the full package really set up for your portable CMM arm with laser scanner. So right here we're going to take a couple of datum points. Um, we're just live sketching directly into SolidWorks. Um, our probing tools are amazing. Go check out our probing suite so you can see how far we can actually go with just the probe. Um, it makes it so convenient just to directly sketch right into SolidWorks. And these tools just coming together make this such a good and easy and user-friendly package for reverse engineering. So once we got our datum points, we are going to now switch over to our laser scanner and we're actually going to scan the chamber on this. So we're just going to pop the probe out here and switch over to the scanner and simply start scanning away. Right, right here I'm switching the arm over. This video we're using a hexagon arm with AS1 scanner. It's a really good arm. Um, this works with fair arms as well. and They have some amazing products of their own. So we're going to take this and just hover over this port. Start our scan. As you can see we're collecting all those triangles live on the fly. No point cloud, no cleanup, no big mess. Just scan and go. I want to make sure we fill in all the gaps. You know, obviously with a single line laser scanner you got to hold it normal and once we think we have a good enough scan here we'll hop into the mesh tools but for now we're just going to kind of fill in the data around the edges on this um, really easy to use just point and shoot and you already have a fully functional mesh that's just ready to go And I, I just cannot stress how easy these tools are to use in conjunction. And you can see our, our sketches from the probe on those water jacket holes there. From here, I think we got a good enough scan. So now I'm just going to hop into our mesh features window. This is where we actually extract data off this mesh um, and show tell the software what we want from this area. So I'm just going to select this area here 
and from here I'm just going to make a nice singular surface so that I can machine this chamber later. You can see how fast and efficient these tools are. So just like that we have a nice single surface, no patches, just a nice big single surface right on that chamber. And from here, we are going to go check out how accurate that is. So we're gonna give it just a second. And it's going to give us a heat map here and we can see how accurate we made this. And you can see it is just absolutely incredibly accurate, holding tense to that original mesh.